Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. This is Melanie and today we're going to tweak one of my systems of organization in my craft room. What you're looking at in front of you are my die cut ephemera sticker binders and I absolutely love this. Basically what I have done is I've taken all my loose bits of ephemera and I've affixed them to page protectors so that I can easily find and see what I have instead of having a bunch of little packages with them all jumbled up because I don't do very well with it. What you see here is a binder that is sorted by color. I have another binder that has themes and then this last binder is collections, meaning they're from specific designers or specific manufacturers that I want to keep together for now. At some point they will be broken down and moved into the color section. Now these binders are big and they're heavy <laughs> and this one is very full, this one is not so much, it's almost, let's say it's about half, and this one here is fairly full. I want to take the color one and split these into one inch binders, so I will end up with 12 one inch binders to replace this, so it's actually going to take up more space, but it also will give me room to expand and also allows for me to just pull the color that I need when I'm working on a project versus this big, huge you know, what is it, three inch binder. I only purchased 12 binders at this point because I want to make sure I have space for them and these two I don't access nearly as much so I am going to leave these as is. This does need a label so let me get transferring this binder into the smaller ones. Okay, so this is what I'm doing and adding whatever the color binder is, a solid piece of cardstock in the front and then I'm going to run run down the spine a piece of washi in that color so that it'll look cool on the shelf. Now where these are going to fit I'm not exactly sure yet so let me just do the easy part which is get these transferred and then we'll deal with the hard part. So there are all the binders that I have completed. Well I'll talk about the binders in a bit. If you had seen my paper organized, my last paper organization video, I had said that there was a little bit of space down at the bottom. Now clearly there's not enough space here for 12 binders, but some of this stuff I think I can move around. So these here are either empty containers or they contain card kits, so I think I can move those somewhere else. I've got a couple journals here that should probably go with the rest of my journals. And I'm not too sure about that these two binders need to stay here. So I'm going to start with moving those, see how far I get. And if I have to move those two binders, I will. And those will probably go in the old spot where the original binders from these were. So we're just going to do a little swap -a room. So let me get moving and I'll show you the final results. Okay, so that's how it played out. I actually got all of the binders on the bottom there and I still was able to keep almost all the kits with the exception of one and that one kit just had basically cardstock in it anyway so I just dismantled it and I do still have the empty containers but we will find a different home for those. The binders for now are going to go where the other binders used to be and the uh, journals are going to go where I have other journals stored. So overall I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Now the thing I'm concerned about with this washi is how well it will stick. Washi is notorious for not being super sticky. Some of these I have fixed with double sided tape, some of them I didn't and I can see some peeling up already. So I might just go back and apply some tape just to make sure those are good and secure but I really like how that has turned out. And let me go down below and show you exactly how I color coded. This is editing Melanie. I'm doing a voiceover on this section because I didn't realize how badly the fan was going to impact the sound quality. So what you see here are all the different colors. They should be pretty self-explanatory. As we move through the rainbow, we have pink, red, orange, yellow, green, aqua, blue, purple. This gray is more neutrals, so black, brown, black, white, etc. The silver is metallic and labels, and this bathing suit washi represents the different themes. The last binder then contains any floral items that I wanted to separate, as well as anything that falls under Tim Holtz's umbrella. You'll see that I have a lot of room in these binders. Uh, that's great because that was one of my issues with the other system was I was starting to run out of space. Okay, back to Trina. <laughs> I made one last switch after I finished saying all of that. 
I pulled those kits out and added the last ephemera binder in there. That's the one that has it by collection. I do think I want to get some more one inch binders because they sit nicer on the shelf than these big ones and transfer those over to that. And for now, those kits are going to move where that binder used to be. So it's just a quick swap -a So that's going to be the organization project for this week. It was not very time consuming. A very quick and simple upgrade that I think is going to make my life a little bit easier. And um, that's what this is all about. So just an, a few things before I sign off for today. I just wanted to thank all of you who have supported me over the past year. I just recently reached my three-year milestone on YouTube which has been fantastic. 2020, despite all the craziness that has gone on, has been a very um, successful year for me. I've been very productive craft-wise and my YouTube channel has really grown tremendously and that's all thanks to you. As we head into the holiday season, even though it may not look like our normal, typical holiday season, things do tend to get a little bit busy. And so I think I only have a couple more organization videos scheduled for this year. Um, and then I'm going to basically wrap it up and we'll start something new in the new year. So just wanted to let you all know, because I've been pretty consistent about posting these on Saturdays, that there's probably only a couple more and then we're going to take a little bit of a break over the December period to until the new year kicks in. I would like to encourage you to tackle a small organization project in your craft room. Sometimes we just need to make little steps and those little steps add up to big results. Thanks again everyone and until next time, happy crafting and happy organizing.